Hey there, and welcome to the first retouch section four. In this section, we're going to be working on the eyes as well as other small details in the photos like the lips and the nose, and we may even play around with some fingernails. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We get a lot of really fun stuff to do. So I'm going to create a new layer here, and uh, we're going to group this with itself. Now we can start to name these groups if we want. I'm just going to double click, call this eyes. This one is mostly hair, so we'll just call this hair. This one is skin color. And you know what? That looks a little too yellow in there, doesn't it? Um, you may not have thought that just now, but it, I did. So <laughs> uh, we're just going to lower the opacity of this just a little bit. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. All right. So we'll just type in color here, frequency separation, and retouch. Looking good. OK, so here in our eyes group, we're going to go ahead and zoom in Command Plus a couple times to do that. And we're going to start off with the Curves Adjustment layer. Go ahead and bring that up quite a bit, which is going to help brighten the eyes. And I'm going to hit Command-I to invert that layer mask. All right, now let's we'll grab a 50 pixel retouch brush. You know what? We'll make it a little bit smaller. Quick shortcut, you can hold down Control and Option and drag left and the right to make that larger and smaller. If you're on a, a PC, it's going to be Control and Alt and right click. I haven't used a PC in a while, so <laughs> excuse my unfamiliarity with the uh, shortcuts. OK, there we go. So on this layer mask, which is painted completely black now, we're going to paint white right around this area here in the eyes, just like that. All right, and you can see I'm kind of like painting in a way that, you know, I'm not just like painting like this. I'm kind of painting in a way that mimics what's going on here with the eyes and that's just going to help it look a little bit more natural all right even from there it looks decent um, we are going to give this a blur though so let's go to filter down here to blur and to gaussian blur we'll start with a pretty low radius and i'm just going to use the up arrow to increase the blur all right, if you hold shift and up or down, it'll move by a full number. Um, just regular up or down, it will move by a, like a point. So just down, see 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. But if I shift down, 2.4. Shift up a couple times, 7.4. So it's a fast way to work on your image. All right, all about speed here. That looks pretty good, one point. Basically, I just wanted to like not be able to tell that I did that with a brush in paint shop in <laughs> paint shop Photoshop all right there we go 1.7 looks pretty good so we're gonna hit enter you know what it needs a little bit more blur all right there we go cool well that looks good let's go ahead and just do another one why not I, I think that looks pretty good um this time instead of just grabbing RGB I'm gonna grab red I'm gonna put more red in the eyes there we go. And we're going to put some green in the eyes as well. All right. There we go. And let's zoom in. I'm going to hit Command or Control I on that layer mask again. All right. And we're just going to do the same kind of thing there. Big blotches. There we go. All right. And let's just. Do a blur on that as well. We'll use a Gaussian blur. Okay, and then we'll lower the opacity to about 50% or so. All right. Beautiful. Those are looking really good. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in and see what we can do. Little details here in the eyes. I'm gonna switch back to our spot healing brush tool and we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. And basically, on a new layer, there we go, start painting over top of these eyes, just for like little details, like little veins and things like that in the eyes themselves. And again, we don't have to go perfect with this, it's just anything that's like slightly distracting, we want to see if we can get rid of. Okay, cool. Next, we're going to do a little bit of dodging and burning on the eyes. I'm going to create a new layer, and we're basically just going to paint with white and black on this layer. So if I just paint with white, let's just bring our, um, there we go, paint with white and then paint with black. 
If I change this layer blend mode from normal to soft light, you can see it's basically the equivalent of dodging and burning here, right? So white <laughs> and black. All right, now I'm at an opacity of 100% and a flow of 80%. If I hit shift four or shift three on my keyboard, then I'm gonna be painting with a, a flow of 30%. So it would allow me to kind of like build up an effect. All right. If you want to delete everything, just hit Command A, which selects everything, and then hit the delete key. All right, there we go. So we're gonna do a little bit of dodging and burning around both of these eyes. And you know, whenever I'm doing this sort of thing, I just like kind of just like zone out a little bit and and take my time with it. You know, this is really an area where you can you can make a big difference in your photos. Um, the key here really is like find areas that are like light in color and just help them be a little bit lighter. All right, so the bottom of like the eyelid there. All right, we can even do the whole center of the eye. Maybe the black of the eye, we want to be a little bit darker, All right? Maybe the border of the eye. We want that to be a little bit darker there as well. So I'm play, painting black right now. Um, there we go. Painting white down here. White around this area there. Kind of open up that shadow a little bit there. If you find you need to put less ink, <laughs> ink, it's not really ink. If you want to put less white or black down, just hit shift and then the number on your keyboard. So like shift one will get you to 10% flow. All right. So I'm gonna paint with white now, about 20% flow. So I'll just hit shift two on my keyboard to kind of enhance this a little bit more. All right. And I would say like, don't, don't worry about overdoing it. Like, let's say you're like, ah, oh, what if I do too much or whatever? Like. It's just a layer, like you can always delete it or lower the opacity or grab your eraser or a myriad of other options. But I would say like, you know, this is your time to like get in there and, and really have some kind of like fun because you can you can really affect a lot in an image with um, dodging and burning. And we're going to be doing more dodging and burning in the next section. In this case, we're just working with the eyes because the eyes are kind of like a special the eyes are a real special part of a portrait. You want to spend a good amount of time uh, just working on eyes in a portrait. It's just going to be really rewarding. Like if you, you know, if I spent like a long, long time, like making the hair right down here, like perfect, you know, <laughs> I, I just probably won't ever notice and probably no one else will too, you know, and it's just not time that's going to be really well spent. But if you t spend time like getting your eyes, the eyes in your photo, like really, really nice, um, chances are that's going to come back to you, man. Like, whoa, check out the eyes. They're just eyes are a natural focal point anyway. So spending a little bit of time on these is a, I think it's a good idea. So I'm darkening up the eyelashes here. And when I do this, I sometimes think of like, uh, makeup techniques like mascara and stuff like that it's like okay well if they're if they're gonna darken the eyes and stuff like that with mascara like obviously it's you know they're not they're doing it for a reason right so um just kind of try to follow the same things there all right and maybe make this a little bit lighter all right let's make this visible and not visible um, dang, I did a lot. <laughs> I actually, like, I was surprised. I didn't expect it to make that much of a difference, but it, it did. So, and I, I don't mind it. So it's nice. It made a difference, and I like it. So, um, but yeah, basically just painting with like black and white on a soft light adjustment layer. Okay. You're like, is this the first time you've ever dodged and burned, Aaron? Like, why are you so surprised? Um, <laughs> it's what happens. I was just like 
building up, you know, like right now I'm painting this little area white and then I'll paint another little area black and then the combined efforts of all those things just, it can be really cool to see. All right, and you see I'm changing my brush size to about, you know, what, what I feel is appropriate for each of these different, um, like for instance, if I'm to color this highlight right here, I'm gonna hold control and option Click and drag to the right and bring my brush to about that size so I can paint a highlight that's about that big, right? Okay, if I wanted to make in here darker, I would just make my brush a little bit smaller. Hit the X key to paint with black. And there we go. I'm going a little bit darker. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely looks retouched. Looks like, whoa, but you know, still pretty good. Just kind of mimicking what's going on with the with the makeup there a little bit. All right, I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit just because, to be honest, I think people have a tendency to go overboard whenever they're working with um, like dodging and burning. Uh, and I am I am definitely a part of that. Like I, I know that I'm one of those people who tends to go overboard, so. Um, whenever I do that sort of thing, I just lower the opacity and it like it kind of just corrects you from yourself. It, 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 uh, it protects you from yourself, not corrects you. All right, on a new layer, we're just going to, um, I wanna fill in some of this, what's going on with the eyebrows. So I'm gonna hit S for the clone stamp tool. I'm gonna sample the current and below, and we're just gonna start, I'm gonna sample here and start painting in. Okay, and I'm gonna change my bl blend mode from normal down to darken. Okay, and this is only gonna allow me to darken hair here in my eyebrow area. There we go, which is just a really easy way of filling it in. But it's all gonna look like hair too. See, it still looks like hair. It's it's a lot different from just like painting black. It's a clone, I'm clone stamping in more hair, but the hair that I'm clone stamping in will only darken. All right, and now I'm gonna create a new layer and clone stamp just to lighten that little area there. All right, let's create a new layer and I'm gonna clone stamp over a couple of these hairs here. So S for the clone stamp tool and then we're gonna hold Alt or Option to sample our area and then paint right over it. All right, now don't be afraid to just go ahead and remove some hair or whatever it is in Photoshop because, you know, again, it's like if you don't like it, like if you don't think it was good, then you know, you can just delete it and start over again. The layer that is. All right, there we go. So, kind of bringing that down a little bit there. Trying to kind of match what's going on the right and left. Okay, spot healing brush tool to kind of knock some of these hairs down here out of the way. All right, beautiful. Yeah, that looks really great. Okay, next let's do a little bit of dodging and burning on the nose area. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Oh, you know what? We are still in our eyes group, aren't we? So let's turn this eyes group off and on so we can see. There's it before and the after. Dang, pretty awesome. All right, let's create a new layer. I'm gonna group this with itself. We're gonna call this nose and mouth. All right, on this layer, I'm gonna change it to a soft light layer. Okay, and we're gonna paint white and black on this layer. So paint white right down here, down the bridge of the nose. Maybe a little highlight at the edge of the nose just for separation there. All right, we're gonna paint a little more detail here in the mouth, add a little bit of light area up here. All right, now I'm gonna erase, grab the eraser tool because I just painted too much. So grabbing the eraser tool and kind of fixing that up a little bit. 
All right, I'm painting white above the lips here. That's just a real good area if you want to um, make a place a little bit brighter. Right above the lips is a good place to do that. All right, we're going to paint with white here and here. Again, I'm just kind of following the natural highlights that are that exist. All right, and then the shadows are going to come right down here. So now I'm painting with black. All right, and I'm going to grab my eraser tool. All right, and we're going to paint with more black on the inside there. All right, and I'm going to erase it away so we can see any teeth. All right, let's lower the opacity. I think I went a little bit overboard with that. All right, that looks pretty good there. Cool. All right, guys, that's looking really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and turn those both on and off and look at the before and after. We are getting pretty close, really. Let's turn these off and then back on. Some dodging and burning, wow, what a difference. I mean, that looks good, but that looks like unreal. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's unreal. Um, <laughs> great. That's the end of this section. We'll see you in our next section where we're going to be dodging and burning the image as a whole. And we're going to show you how to sharpen and we're going to be finishing the image up. All right. We'll see you in the next section.